listen to that roar as the shots come out here at the Hawthorns for an historic afternoon in the third round of the FA Cup. Here at the Hawthorns, Steve Gibbs and myself are positioned just about 20 yards to the right of the halfway line towards the Smethwick end where 4,700 plus Aldershot Town fans have just greeted their heroes with a wonderful display of flags and balloons, Steve Gibbs. Yeah, absolutely fantastic sight, amazing occasion, and yeah, whatever, win, lose, draw, those shots fans will do the, will do the town and the club and the players and themselves proud this afternoon. They're already making themselves heard. I don't think, whether it, whoever it is in the championship, I don't think that sort of passion, colour, in the away end would have seen, been seen here for very often this season. All right, let's get to the details of the teams. Uh, Aldershot Town are playing in their home kit of red and blue striped shirts, red shorts and red socks, and West Brom are in their traditional home kit of navy blue stripes on the back of uh, white shirts, white shorts and white socks. For the shots, Jordi Van Stapperschurf in goal, Harfield, Harries and Rowe, the centre-backs. Theo Widrington back into the side today alongside the skipper O'Keefe. Ryan Glover back into the side at right wing-back, Ollie Scott left wing-back. And then Tyler Frost playing in the number 10 position behind Tolladge and Barham. Frost and Glover could be the other way, we'll keep our eye on that one. As the game kicks off, the sides are going to change ends and Steve, when we kick off in just under a minute or so's time, the Shots fans in the first half will be attacking 4,700 Shot fans. Yeah, I'm sure Old Shot Town would have wanted it the other way to attack the Smethwick end in the second half, but if you look on the positive side, that's a great chance, a great opportunity to make a really positive start and get that early goal that could be crucial. Uh, he's uh, a versatile player, Pippa. He's a versatile player, Pippa, and we're back. And we're underway here at the Hawthorns. Aldershot with the kickoff going all the way back uh, to Jordi Van Stapperschurf, who kicks long, and it'll be a West Brom headed winner. And the ball will be picked up in the midfield as well by Fenton Hurd. Spreads it out to the left hand side to Joven Malcolm now, and he plays the ball back to Alex Mowat and West Brom with early possession on the edge of the final third but it's the shots fans you can hear loud and proud here at the Smethwick end Mower out to Tom Fellows on the right hand side little give and go can he get the ball in here for West Brom he might be able to shot comes in and it's a wonderful finish from Nathaniel Chalabar just a simple pull back and a clipped finish high into the top corner for West Brom and they take the lead in just the seventh minute here at the Hawthorns, West Bromwich Albion won, Aldershot Town nil. Yeah, that's a goal from England international, Nathaniel Chalabar, but I think that was all about Tom Fellows and his run. Aldershot Town left wing back, allowed too much space there. I think Ollie Scott just getting a little bit caught in between going to the ball or following his man, and in the end it was a lovely, a lovely inside pass that found Fellows on the byline, giving it a bit of air to put the cross in, and Chalabar hooked a fine cross shot, a controlled cross shot into Van Stapershoff's far corner. But that's the quality that West Brom have got. Second string these days, Nathaniel Chalabar, but once an England international, once one of the hottest prospects in the Premier League with Chelsea. And that's the sort of player that they can call upon. But Ullshot Town can't allow that to, to deflate their energy, to pop their bubble. And Jordi Van Stapershoff has a cap on because... There is just in the penalty area only a way to our left. Uh, oh, West Brom are in again on the right-hand side. Fellows looks to pull it back. It's well cut out by Jordi Van Stapperschurf and he beats it well away from his goal. Started on the front foot and Fellows is definitely taking this opportunity by the scruff of oh, the neck. Harry's has slipped over in possession. Malcolm with the shot and he puts it away. And the shots are 2-0 down inside the first 15 minutes. And Harry's, who's been so good in possession all season, slipped at an inopportune moment. Malcolm picked the ball up and punished Aldershot Town. 
2-0 West Brom, Steve Gibbs. Yeah, if you're writing a script of what you don't want to happen, a bit of slack defending, defensive slips, two goals in the first 15 minutes, it's the very, it's the very script that you didn't want. A mountain to climb for the shots now, but you have to believe. You have to keep believing that all shot town. They've come from 2-0 down this season a couple of times already. Yes, not against opposition the calibre of West Bromwich Albion, but if West Brom think they've got one foot in the fourth round, then you'd hope that Aldershot Town can give them a rude awakening. And Aldershot's job was to stay in the game. Here's Barham, who might get into a pocket of space on the left. He's on his own. He's going to come back onto his right foot, try and get a shot. He does. Deflection and wide. And that deflection wrong-footed Griffiths in the goal. And it wasn't far wide, it could have deflected into the empty net, Steve Gibbs. Yeah, it could have gone anywhere, and now those 4,800 shots fans, they found their voice again, and it, Barham and Tolage, it does only take one moment of opportunism from one of those two, and the shots are right back in the game. Corner taken short by Glover to Frost. Harfield now back to Glover. Important they make room for the cross, they do. Harfield it is, clipping it in, Tolage rises. Harry's shot blocked out to O'Keefe and O'Keefe volleys over the bar well over the bar but applause from the shots faithful they've had a go at the West Bromwich Albion goal for the first time 18 minutes in yeah another small reason to be to get the shots back into this game but yeah Kean Harris's appeal for handball was optimistic at best I feel but Stuart O'Keefe he's got far too much experience he should have been bringing that down looking to continue the move build the pressure Whereas by slicing the ball over the bar, he's just let West Brom off the hook. Corner then to West Brom. They are 2 0 up here. We're in the 27th minute. It's not been the start that Aldershot Town and Tommy Widrington and the red and blue fans dreamt of. But they plough on regardless. In comes the corner to the far post, missed by a lot of people, and then headed inadvertently down by a shots player into the path of Daryl DK and he smashes it home and that was a goal sadly of Aldershot Town's making West Bromwich Albion 3 Aldershot Town 0 it is DK it's his first game since April where he ruptured his Achilles tendon so for him a fantastic personal story but yeah Aldershot Town the masters of their own downfall there trying to clear the ball inadvertently heading it back into the danger area and you don't give a striker the quality of DK, an American international, no less. That sort of space, that opportunity from uh, about seven yards out, and similar to Chalabar's first finish, lashes it into the roof of the net, giving Van Stappershoff no chance. And uh, they can come forward with Javan Malcolm. He feeds DK, who can get the ball out of his feet. He's got an overlapping run on his left. He's going to try a shot from distance. And it's saved down low, away to his right by Jordi van Stappershoef. You'd expect him to save that one. In fairness, I don't want to be too harsh on him for the three goals. You'd hope that he'd have saved one of them. I think that's his first uh, save of the day. He's maybe caught one ball and gathered yeah, it I th in. I think he stood up and parried one at head, at head height earlier in the game. But, yeah, I think, I think a decent save. It was swerving, it was dipping, it was bouncing a little bit in front of him. So, yeah, a decent save for Van, Van Stappershoff. Maybe they rattle the crossbar, maybe they get a goal back, let's see. Here's uh, Halffield, uh, exchanging passes with Scott. He should be able to get a cross in here, drags it back. Shot from Frost, deflects and goes behind. And it will be a third corner of the afternoon to the shots. And just listen to the roar from the shots fans away to our right. Yeah, that's a claim. I'm sure there's been more muted celebrations in the away end for goals here this season. And also town building for a corner taken quickly to Glover now to Scott everybody forward Widrington with the ball in it's not a good one it's headed away but he's won it again on the edge of the air tries the ball into Tolage who can't quite take it in his stride he was on the half turn had he got any kind of touch on it I don't doubt Steve he'd have had another one and had a shot on target but he just agonisingly went across his toes Cross to Tolad, you might enjoy dropping back a little bit deeper. He finds Kwame Thomas. Thomas out to Glover. Glover to Tolad inside. Wriggles away from his man. Sends it out to the left. Looking for Ollie Scott. Can't find him. It's been cut out well by West Brom. But Tolad has won it back. 
And now he's fouled, is he? Yes! A free kick for Aldershot Town, and they might be up to five for the afternoon from the rather stingy Anthony Backhouse, Steve Gibbs. Yeah, it's all did really well. Aldershot Town, they have come alive in the last few minutes. They've found a dynamism, a, a speed in the pass that was lacking. And they've taken the free kick short. Frost inside to Tolad's right-footed shot. Oh, it's a brilliant save. He nearly had his moment, the Swiss striker. And Tolage in the 77th minute, going the closest all afternoon for the shot, Steve. Yeah, it's the first moment, really, that Griffiths has had to... Had to first opportunity that Griffiths has had to repel, and he did it really well. I think it was a good hike for him, but it was travelling towards that far post at some velocity, and he did well, did the England under-21 goalkeeper. Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones gets his simple pass there a little bit wrong, but uh, as West Brom come forward, Rowe commits himself, doesn't make contact with the ball, and West Brom are going to get in here through the centre of goal, and it's blazed over the bar from the substitute, Leighton Love. Big moment for him, and he blew it, Steve, with the, a play, I think it was Fellows, um, to his left, he could have squared it for an open goal. Yeah, he had a couple of opportunities there, Love, whether to go himself or square it for the teammate in, in acres of space. They both were alongside each other, but, yeah, one-on-ones are difficult, and he just proved how difficult they can be. And a disappointing moment for Leighton Love, but what feels like a bit of fortune for Aldershot, who gave the ball away there and they counted well. You can't, can't blame a striker for wanting a shot on goal. Here's Love in possession, holding it up nicely as they go back through Pippa and they try a ball into the inside right channel. And here is Fellow, skips back onto his left foot. And it's a beautiful finish. And there is no doubt about the West Bromwich Albion man of the match. And it is Tom Fellows who's assisted this afternoon, but now he's scored as well. And he's put a little bit of gloss on the finish, a bit of icing on the cake for West Bromwich Albion who, in the 90th minute, get their fourth goal of the afternoon, West Bromwich Albion 4, Aldershot Town nil. Yeah, he has been fantastic this afternoon, fellows. He was the architect, the catalyst for their brilliant start that won the game, and now, as you say, he's put the icing on the cake, and he's also, metaphorically at least, planted a massive knock on Carlos Corbran's door to say, I deserve more minutes in the Championship. Uh, yeah. He's been... West Brom collectively, individually, have been a class above. But for me, he's been, he has been the outstanding player. And he's shown the levels that, that you need to set. Lovely bit of irony. The away end, let me tell you, listeners, is just about big enough for the 4,700 hardy red and blue faithful who have been superb today. Here's Tolladge receiving the ball just inside the half with his back to goal. Ball over the top, can Thomas get there? Oh, his effort goes over the bar. It was difficult in truth, it's always difficult for a striker, the ball coming over your shoulder. He got his effort away, but he lifted it over the goal. And that, Steve, might be Aldershot Town's last opportunity to ripple the back of the baggies net this afternoon. Yeah, it would have been the, uh, the consolation, nothing more. That opening 15, 20 minutes where the game was oh, won. Oh, here's Frost picking up the ball. Sorry, Steve. Into Bray. Bray inside the edge of the area. Threads it out wide to Jones. Aldershot going away from goal initially. But now with Willard and Frost involved. And Willard, is he going to try a shot? He's inside the penalty area. Squares it across. Bray shoots and scores for Aldershot Town. Oli Bray in the 95th minute has put all the shot down on the score sheet and they've got their moment, the 4,700 Aldershot Town fans. And Ollie Bray has his moment, his first goal for Aldershot Town at the Hawthorns against Championship West Bromwich Albion. And what a delightful end to this game for Tommy Widrington's Aldershot Town, who've scored again this season. 95 minutes gone, West Bromwich Albion 4, Aldershot Town 1, Steve Gibbs. If only they said as that time added on board went up and after 90 minutes, next goal wins. Because the goal is being celebrated as though it is a winner. There's red smoke, there's scarves, there's songs. And there is the final whistle. And how that goal will have lifted the mood of the shots faithful.
but you try dampening now the spirit of the 4,700 Shots fans away to our right, who've had their moment. My goodness me, they stayed with the side and the side stayed with the battle. But moments, if not seconds before the end of this, Oli Bray has scored his first professional goal, his first goal for Aldershot Town. And just listen to the Shots fans. Let me shut up for 30 seconds and our listeners enjoy this. That is a lovely moment at the end of a difficult afternoon for the Shots, but a wonderful cup run comes to an end with celebrations of a sort in front of their fans. At the Smethwick end at the Hawthorns, final score here, West Bromwich Albion 4, Aldershot Town 1. <laughs>